And so today is day seven to the novena of Blessed Francis Xavier Silos. And we pray, we pray for peace. Especially today we have student mass, so we have uh, an intention to pray. They all rest in pink to pray for all those who have breast cancer, for their family that have to uh, take care of them, and for all the doctors and nurses. Okay, so at this moment, let us entrust our prayer to our uh, blessed sea laws and pray for them. I don't know if you have all the sheet here. Teachers, if you like to participate, there's a sheet like this in, uh, in the middle of the aisle here. Just take one and then all to your students to just to read along. It's not too long, it's very short. But I'd like you to, uh, to respond with me in this beautiful uh, novena. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Blessed Francis Xavier Silas, pray for us. So everybody just repeat, like, pray for us, okay? Francis, pattern of cheerfulness, pray for us. Francis, lover of labors, pray for us. Francis, model of confessors, pray for us. Francis, gentle refuge of penitence, pray for us. Francis, example to seminarians, pray for us. Francis, master of poverty, pray for us. Francis, pillar of peacefulness, pray for us. Francis, comfort of the sick, pray for us. Francis, companion to the dying, pray for us. Francis, paragon of holiness, pray for us. The Angela Boudreaux prayer. Together, oh my God, I truly believe you are present with me. I adore your limitless perfections. I thank you for the graces and gifts you gave to Blessed Francis Xavier Silas. If it is your holy will, please let me be declared a saint in the church so that others may know and imitate his holy life. Through his prayers, please give me this favor. Joyful vigor prayer. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. I offer praise to you for the grace you have bestowed on your humble missionary, Father Francis Xavier Silas. May I have the same joyful vigor that Father Silas possessed during his earthly life to love you deeply, live faithfully your gospel. Amen. Healing Prayer Divine Physician, you infuse Blessed Francis Xavier Silas with the gift of your healing by the help of his prayers. Sustain in me the grace to know your will and the strength to overcome my afflictions. For love of you, make me whole. May I learn from the example of Father Silas and gain comfort from his patient endurance. Amen. Burdensome Prayer Bountiful God, in blessings Francis Xavier Silas, you have given your people a model for those who labor joyfully in your earthly kingdom. May his smile dwell on those who find life burdensome. In him, our eyes continually behold the gentleness of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So now we stand and we'll sing together 
We sing together that song again, okay? If you can, you can just clap your hands so that we joyfully singing and praising God because of these guardian angels with us. Each one of us has one guardian angel. All right? Each one of us has one guardian angel. And so today we tap on that guardian angel and ask that guardian angel to be with you and to pray for you and to send the message to God. So whatever you have in your mind right now, ask guardian angel to be with you and to pray with you and to pray for you. Yes? So let us go together. Ready? Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and God, to rule and guide. Everybody, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commit me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and God, to rule and guide. One more time. And show of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and God, to rule and guide. Very good. And so this moment, let us call out to God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And so at this moment, we ask God to bless us, bless those who struggle with their breast cancer as we dedicate today to pray for them. Press, pray for pro-life. Pray for those who have a thought about abortion. Pray those already did have abortion in their life, that God continue to heal them. Especially at this moment, we pray for our country so that our country is building life. And not just life for today, but life for eternal. Okay, so, so at this moment, let us ask God. Because you are children, you are beautiful. Because God, Jesus today asked everyone to imitate children, to become children like you. And so what does that mean? And i like you to think a little bit. Who are you, my children, my students of St. Jared Redemptors here? Who are you? Okay, so think a little bit and I'll ask you a lot of questions today. Okay, so at this moment we ask God for mercy, for love, for blessings, and especially to bless our God and angel to always be with us. So repeat after me, Lord have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, hear our supplication as we cry to you that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their com company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the Word of God. From the book of Job, the Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and shown the dawn its place for taking hold of the ends of earth till the wicked are shaken from its surface? The earth is changed as is clay by the seal and died as though it were a garment. But from the wicked the light is withheld and the arm of pride is shattered. 
Have you entered into the sources of the sea, or walked about in the depths of abyss? Have the gates of death been shown to you, or have you ever seen the gates of darkness? Have you comprehended the breadth of the earth? Tell me if you know it all. Which is the way to the dwelling place of light, and where is the abode of the darkness? That you may take them to their boundaries, and set them on their homeward paths. You know because you were born before them, and the number of years is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of little account. What can I answer you? I put my hand over my mouth. Though I have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O oh Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar, my journey and my risk you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me along the everlasting way. Where can I go from your spirit? Where, from your presence, where can I flee? If I go to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the nether world, you are present there. God be the Lord on the everlasting way. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hands, your hands shall guide me, and your right hand. Hold me fast. God be the Lord along the everlasting way. You truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. God be the Lord along the everlasting way. Please stand. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according. Hold on, hold on. It's one here. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciple approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in the midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. proud of my students. I want to very, I'm very proud of my students. That's why I want the whole world to see you, okay? Because you are special, especially today. Did you hear what Jesus said in the gospel today, anybody? What did Jesus say in the gospel today? Anybody can remember anything here? Now, we need to practice this because 
I know all of you have to take ACT tests and LEAP tests, yes? And reading comprehensive is very important. So we want to practice right here. When you listen, you have to listen so that you can answer the question. But today, Jesus said about children, what happened? What did they say? What did he say about children? Anybody? Yes? What did Jesus say about children? Have to be... You want to say it? Who is children? Who are you? Anybody can tell me why Jesus said that you have to be like children. You have to be humble like children. Why, why children? Why, why don't be like Father Ted? Why, why you? Who are children? Who are you? I am a, I am a son of God. You are the son of God. Very good. You are a child of God. Beautiful. Applause, applause. Who are the children? Why, why, why teacher has to be like you? Because children are, children are what? Children are the, children is the son, I mean, children is the son of God. Yes, but who are the children? The children are... That's why you are children. If I ask my, my, my adults, they know all the answer. The children, they don't have all the answer, yes? Yes? The children, they saw... Father Ted got six things about children. You want to hear? You want to hear about you? This is about you. The children are very innocent. You know what innocent means? Yes. Innocent means... Innocent means you're not guilty. Yeah, 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 that's right. Innocent means you are so pure. You so you say, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know the answer. I don't know. And sometimes Father Ted asks you, you just raise your hand even before Father Ted asks question. Do you know that? That's crazy. But that's who you are. You are innocent. You are beautiful. Now, the second thing about children, because children are pure. You have a purity of heart. Whatever you see, you will say it, yes? You don't lie like sometimes when we growing up, we make up stories. But you, you are children, you are innocent. When you see something beautiful, you say beautiful. You say, ooh, that's not, that's not right, you say it. You have a beautiful, beauty of heart, okay? What is the next one? Father Ted here say that you are, let's see here, honesty. How many of you here, honesty, honest? How many of you here say that I'm very honest, yeah? Not many of you. Come on, raise higher, higher. Now I know, I know sometimes you, you tell lies, yes? Sometimes. Sometimes. And because, why you say, why you tell lies? Anybody can tell me a little bit, why you tell lies to, like your mom, or your dad, or your teachers, anybody? Because, I know, I know some of us here, come on, everybody tell lies, not just, just, why? So you don't get in trouble? There you go, there you go, give her a round of applause here. Because you don't want to be in trouble. And sometimes, sometimes you don't want to be punished, right? So you want to tell lies. The problem here is, my children, when you tell the first line, what do you have to say? You have to tell the, the second line. Why do you have to tell the second line? To cover the first one. And then you have to tell the third one to cover the, the second and the first one. The best way is yes, is say yes. No, is say no. All right? Don't tell lie because when you tell lie, you don't feel good at all. Okay? You just 
you just be trouble, right? Now, another one about children. Put right here so we can hear it. Another one about children is children has curiosity. How many of you have curiosity here? Yes? You know what curiosity is? No, but I should, my mom told me I had it. You, you're very good. What excuse me, curiosity? Well, my mom told me I had it, but she didn't tell me what it is. You know why? Because you are a very good student. When, when you have questions, you just ask. When you want to know, you ask. That's curious. Say, Mom, why are you doing that? Teacher, Miss, what happened? How, how can we get there? How can I pass my leave test? You're curious. You know what I mean? So that's who you are because you want to learn everything about the world. Okay? The next one, I think this is... Now, if you don't have this, you have to... Go home and look at yourself in the mirror, okay? Selfie and say, joy. Children, if you're not joyful, today is who you are. You have to be joyful because you have everything around you here. Now, some of you said, I'm not happy, I'm not joyful. That's true because you worry about your mom, your dad, you worry about the whole world. But hey, we need your joy, okay? Now, the last one, Father Ted believed, and today is in the gospel. Children are like angels. Children are like angels. Exactly. Like you die, you go to heaven because you're so good. You're so innocent. You're so honest. You're so curious. You're so joyful. And because you are angel today, my brothers and sisters, we're talking about guardian angel. Every one of you have a guardian angel, okay? Every one of you, every one of us have the angel with us. What is the purpose of the angel? God created angels for what? Anybody? For what? Why the angel? God created angels so that so that God can help you. Beautiful. Round of applause, everyone. How about? God, God created angels because he wants he want them to protect you from evil. There you go. That's another good answer. Round of applause. So that God can protect you from all evil. That's a beautiful one. Anybody? Anybody else? Yes. So you can be saved. How many of us here want to be safe? Yes, everyone. Father Ted, before he goes to bed, he had to lock all the door. But if you not feel safe, even you lock in the door, it's not safe, right? You want the angel to be with you, to be around you while you're sleeping, when you're driving, when you're studying. So today, my students, we have guardian angels with us. Now, I like my adult people here, teachers, faculties, benefactors, people even watching us on live stream. If you can hear this, I'd like you to think about, about our children today. When you have children around you, teach them to say nice words. You know why? A lot of times when you walk through the door and you see adults, you say, good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, good morning, Father Ted. Good morning, Miss, Miss Domino. Don't just look down, don't curse, say something nice. Yes? The second one is to welcome their questions because they love to learn more. So teachers, adults, parents, Welcome their questions. Don't shut them down because they want to learn. That's who they are. The third one, to ask them to pray for you. Ask them to pray for you. Why? Because that's who they are. They are the angels of God. The, the next one, he ask them to make you joyful. If you feel sad, 
ask the children, ask them to come close to you. And children, if you are sad, the whole world is sad because we need your joy. Okay, eighth grader, seventh grader, sixth grader, fifth grader, you still young. You're not that old. You need to be joyful because the whole world need you. Your parents, your grandparents, your teachers need your joy. So they need your joy. Okay. The next one, ask them to tell you the truth. If you want the truth, don't ask the adults. Ask the children. They will tell you from the bottom of their heart. And the next one is very important one. Ask them to light and to guide you. It's like the angels in the prayer today. The angel is to light and to guard, to rule and to guide. Ask them to pray for you. Ask them even to give you some innocent suggestions. What should I do? What must I do? Maybe God will tell you through their voice. May God bless us today. Amen. And today the mass is offered to pray for all souls in purgatory and also Miss Domino's end today. Uh, they have a funeral for her aunt, her name is Jacqueline Domino Luis. So keep her in our prayer today in our Mass. Blessed are you, Lord, and our creation to your goodness. We have received this bread to offer you food of the earth and book of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, to your goodness we have received this wine to offer you food of the body and work in human hands. It will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be accepted to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection we might be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your angels and archangels. For the honor we pray the angelic creatures in whom you delight bring down to your own suppressing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exalted adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be kneel. Please kneel. So at this moment, I'd like you to think about one person in your life that you want to pray for, okay? Because you like angels in heaven. And so your prayer is very precious. And so ask the Lord to pray and bless for that person, okay? Like a cancer 
breast cancer people or any cancer people, your mom, your dad, and so especially the soul of uh, Miss Jacqueline Domino Lewis today and all the souls in purgatory. So ask God to bless them. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a new fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Given thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Jacqueline Domino Louise, whom you have called from this world to yourself, when that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in a hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Jared, blessed Silas, and all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so at this moment, please stand. And I'd like you to send, send that message, that prayer. Give it to your guardian angel and give it to God. Okay? The person, the prayer that you have in your mind, to pray for yourself, to pray for your family or someone, give it to your guardian angel and send it off like a messenger. Guardian angel means messenger. And so with this, let us pray now for our country, for our family, for peace and for unity. So together we say out loud and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, send to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share and send with each other a sigh of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Those who not uh, receive communion, just sit down. Just sit down. And then for those who like to communion, just come forward. Please stand. Let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life, with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God one more time. Now we will sing this song again, okay? One more time. I think you remember now, okay? So put the hand together if you can, and uh, Father Ted will lead you, okay? Let's go like this. Angel of God, my guardian, dear, to whom God's love commits me near, ever this day be at my side, to light and fall, to rule and guide, 
everybody. And to love God, my guardian, give to whom God's love comes in me here, ever this day, me and my son, to my death Thank you everyone. Do we have any happy birthday today? No? Very good. So I'll let Miss Oliver to take over from here. Thank you everyone.